Hey everybody, welcome back to Singularity of the Day. Today's question, how to create a cropped plant layout view. So as you can see here, we have a nice little assembly, have a couple components inside. Uh, we want to create a drawing view that just represents a portion of the insides of this assembly. So let's go ahead and get started, make a drawing of this assembly. And you know, the thing to start, uh, we'll bring in the right view. This gives us kind of a nice view of that assembly and to help understand where our components are inside. Let's go ahead and switch to show our shape, hidden lines visible. So we can see those components inside. We can see the, the hood for that welding station that's going on inside that assembly. Now one way to do this is to create a section view. Of course with uh, 2014 we have the new section view assist so I can hit tab to cycle through some of these options. What a nice horizontal view, kind of cut in right above those tables. I want to see those tables. Uh, so let's click OK. Don't want to hide anything. And let's flip our direction, looking down over those tables. That looks pretty good. Now, instead of the whole layout here, I just want to see the tables that are seen there. It kind of looks like a sideways E, right? Well, to begin, we want to create a sketch. So this could be multiple lines. This could be a rectangle, circle splines, really anything that you're after. In this case, I want a rectangle. Keep it nice and simple. Create a nice little area. That's just what I want to focus on. So from there, with that sketch created and the sketch selected, keep in mind if you create multiple entities, you could right click on one of them, select chain, group select, control select, whatever it may be. We'll grab our entities and then go to crop view. Again, those sketch entities will be associated to that view that we've created, and it cuts everything else out. Looks pretty good. Now, one other challenge that you may run into is once you've, we've created that view, it's still aligned to the parent view. Now, a couple things. I want to hide the parent view, and I want to detach that section view, um, the crop view. So, a couple steps. Right-click on the newly created crop view, go to alignment, break alignment. So now I can move this wherever I'd like. Now for our parent view, let's actually go ahead and go ahead and hide that. Under sheet one, right click and hide. Now we're prompted with message, do we want to hide dependent views also? Well, our newly created section view, crop view, is a dependent view. So we want to choose no. So from here, we can change our scale which may be a user defined here, maybe 115, whatever is desired to fill up our page. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit too big. How about 120? That fits our page nicely. And we have our parent view still there. It's hidden, our section view that's created. So hopefully this helps you create a cropped view of your plant layouts, help communicate information. And thanks for watching.